Um, so yeah, today we're gonna do the entire Summer Nights album from start to finish. There are a total of nine songs. I think six of them, or like five or six of them, are from the original What Is Love album, and the other ones are completely new to the like re-release. Um, but this should be fun because it includes uh, what is it, Dance the Night Away, which I really really liked. We are ready to go, chat. Here we go. Dance the Night Away, the title track of the album. Let's do it in three, two, one. Perfect. Let's hope that there's no sound issues going forward, you know? We use the title track to test everything out. But yeah, I, I love the energy in this title track. It's so much fun. We got those sauna vocals, let's go. It's so punchy, you know, like the uh, the beat is so like, it's so energetic. I don't think I put this on my playlist, but I have put songs from like, between one and two. I have like, basics and I have the title track. But this one, it's been a while, it's been a while. But wow, that is that is fun, man. That is a really, really fun track. I loved it. I loved it when we first heard it. You guys saw the video. Um, probably, like, my favorite video to shoot out of all the reactions that we did was that Dance the Night Away and... I forgot what other song we put in that same video. But that was probably one of my favorite ones that we did. I, I, was, I was, like, super hyped the entire video, which is like really rare because I'm not really like an energetic person. Great start, great way to set the tone, but with the next song, it's called Chillax. And I feel like we're gonna go straight back to the chill vibe. So um, let's get started. Let's not waste any more time because we got a lot to get through. Chillax in three, two, one. There we go. It still feels very tropical. Yeah. Very cool chorus. It's a road trip song. Yeah, that is definitely the kind of vibe that I'm getting to. It almost sounds like seagulls too. It almost sounds like they're they're using like birds in the background. Those are some really nice vocals, man. They're hitting those notes really, really well. Okay. They got a little bit of English there too, okay. Okay. I don't know who that was. We got a little bit of a fade at the end. That was great. That was really, really nice. It, unlike a lot of the other albums we've checked out so far, this one, fits the theme you know what i mean you go from dance the night away which is like really hyper really exciting this one is a little bit you know like it's called chillax so it's going to be a little bit more relaxing but it still feels like that kind of vacation type song so that, that was excellent very very nice they're sticking on theme really really well here so i'm liking this so far very very strong start very strong start and let's head to the next song which is called shot through the heart Uh, this is not what I was expecting. It almost sounds like kind of like a Christmas song. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But I, but I like the vocals. It's smooth. Yeah, Sa Sana does definitely sound really cute in this. Okay. 
That was a cool little rap. It was like, it was short, but it, it, it fit the vibe of the song really well. I like this. This part right here. I think it might be Dion on that, but it's it sounds really, really cool. Oh yeah. That mean a slow down, you already know. That just makes the song even better, man. Always a hit, always a hit. <laughs> Shot through the heart and you're to blame. True, 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 true. Mina Bridge Queen. Dude, that's so facts. Honestly, really interesting. Because it's so cutesy, but it's not like... It's, it's not too cutesy, you know? I, th I think it was a perfect mix there. But let's move on. The next song on the list is What Is Love, which is the title track of the What Is Love album. Obviously, we've already heard this, um, but I'm excited to hear it again. So let's get started. Here we go. What Is Love in three, two, one. I love the theme of this music video. The whole like movie thing that they did in the music video was really really fun. The only thing is like I didn't recognize a lot of the songs or like a lot of the movies that they were referencing in the song. Honestly the rap in this is a lot better than I remember. I don't think I was a fan of it when we heard it the first time, but I, I kind of like it. There's an acoustic version of the song. Oh! They get sturdy in this music video! I totally forgot about that. Loki, we gotta pull up the music video. They get sturdy. That was great. That was great. Very, very nice. Uh, very cool concept for the music video. Um, the chorus is really catchy, and overall, I just think it was like a really, really creative song. Okay, here we go. Uh, Sweet Talker in three, two, one. There we go. Almost like Jet Set Radio, kind of like... It's like the Powerpuff Girls intro. Yeah, it's so, so interesting. Cause you can, you hear the synth, right? And the drum pattern is very Powerpuff Girls. A lot of rap. Small sections, but... We hear Cheyang a lot here. This is trippy, man. That's a that's kind of a fun slowdown. Oh man. Okay. No, dude, I wanted more. Dude they, they did this before. They tease you with like a really fun slowdown. Probably the craziest song we heard. Got some laughs in the background. Dude, I don't know what to say about this one. Yeah, this is a this is a crazy crazy song. I really really like it though. It, it's it's weird in a really really fun way, but JYP man, JYP is trolling me, man. You had such awesome potential at that last bit where they slow it down. This would have been such a banger. And then they like just go, nah, back to the beginning. But it's fine. It's fine. So let's get started. Ho in three, two, one.
Ooh, yeah. This is good already. Okay, okay, Dion. Still keeping the summer vibes. Okay. Just a little bit of Cheyenne vocals. It's similar to like... Mm, like one of those like surf songs, one of those like surf like movies. That was so fire. The way they extend their vocals there is, dude, so so good. <laughs> the power vocals in the song, yeah, they're fire, man. I I love the energy, dude. Also has a choreography. I honestly want to see the choreography to this the most. I feel like it would be really, really fun. You could do a lot with this kind of song. And then we get the outro there, a little bit of reverb to finish it off. That was excellent, dude. They have actually not missed. We made it six songs in and they have yet to miss. This album might be the best one we heard so far. Let's not waste any more time, man. I'm having a lot of fun with this one. So let's head in to Deja Vu in three, two, one. Many once just prefer ballads, they're so good. That's fair. Ballads can be fun. If they're done well, they can be great. Okay. Was that Sana rapping? Well, I mean, I guess it wasn't a rap because it was just like a trail off, but... It's a really, really like smooth switch off of all the members right there. This is really nice. Not my favorite track. But I think it like... It slows the momentum a little bit to get us ready for the like later songs. So I think that's actually a really, really good idea. But like, what is this? What are they doing with this instrumental, man? Oh, it's super, it's super dubstep. Dude, that is trippy. I don't know, I don't know if I like that personally. Deja Vu fits in Signal, I, I agree, I agree. But, but this part, these vocals right here, perfect for Summer Nights. But the instrumental itself, the way that they're switching it up, is like a... More of like a signal thing. That is a crazy song, man. That is a crazy song. Oh my god. I feel like just doing dubstep in general feels outdated, right? It was huge. It was huge in like 2012, 2013. If they did that back then, I would be like, yeah, sure, whatever. But this album came out in, what, 2018? So... It feels dated, and it feels really, really strange because the vocals are so smooth. They're so chill. They're so calm. Um, and then you had the like the rap part. I like the rap part. I think that was great. I think it fit well. But that instrumental and those beat switches that they were doing, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, so say yes. Here we go. Uh, track number eight in three Two, one. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, the um, 
the ending track on the last album. I can tell why people like this song. 100%. Twice has never done a bad slowdown song, man. The harmonizing here, it's just like... Yeah, they, they are perfect with these kinds of songs. It, it fits their, like, vocals really well, you know? That was great. That was fantastic. Wow. Last track. We, we're already at the last track. We are moving really fast. Um, better than twice the gram? I, I think so. I, I think so. That, that's Personally, I think this is the best album we have heard so far. Out of all the albums, this is number one so far. Maybe not as maybe not better than Between One and Two, because I think I think the production in Between One and Two is just a little bit better. But other than that, this is definitely the best one. That was really abrupt. Okay, we are ready to go. Stuck the last song on the album. Can they go eight for nine on this entire album? Let's find out in three, two, one. Okay guys, so this next section might be a little bit confusing, so let me explain. I accidentally played the wrong song during the live stream. So through my headphones, I was listening to Deja Vu again. But through your side, the actual video itself was playing the right song. So you're gonna hear the right song, but just know that I, in the video, am not listening to the right song. And I don't realize that until we're pretty much all the way at the end of it. So. Just just watch, it's crazy, and the chat gets confused too, so it's a fun time, but we eventually find out and we put the right song. More aggressive. This sounds like deja vu, no? Am I tripping? Like, especially that la 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 part. Isn't that just deja vu? Yeah, this sounds really similar to the deja vu section, too. I am tripping? <laughs> Dude, I, I'm... I'm losing my mind, I guess. Alright, but okay. I mean, I mean, listen to this, man. Like... They're definitely like, there's definitely similarities. Like, I'm not crazy. I knew it, bro. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, dude. I knew I wasn't crazy, bro. I knew it. It's the same song. Oh! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I made a severe and, and, and terrible error. I made a severe and terrible error. On my side, I played Deja Vu. But on your side, you're hearing Stuck. Now it makes sense. It all makes sense now. I don't know how that happened. Okay, I, okay. Dude, this is trippy. Okay, this is really, really trippy. I accidentally played the wrong song. I accidentally played the wrong song, dude. I cannot, I'm so mad, dude. I, cause I was like, I was like, this is literally just deja vu. Like, I, like they did the dubstep part too. And I was like, yeah, this is literally deja vu. I, I was like, yo, that's kind of clever though. Cause like, if they did that intentionally, that'd be kind of cool, no? So I was like, oh, they're getting really creative. Oh my god, dude. I knew something was wrong, man. I knew something was wrong because like, okay. Let me, let me, let me play the right song this time for myself. You guys are hearing the right thing. But my, my headphones, I, I'm using wireless headphones. So I'm connected to my phone, not my PC. And that's why like it's different. For real this time, stuck in three, two, one. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. 
Already you can hear the difference. Yeah, okay, good. That the Sana vocals. Smooth. Mina vocals. This is what I was expecting, good. I can't tell if that's Nyan or Geo. They sounded very similar for a second. Stuck is so easy to love, especially if you watch TTT. I gotta start watching that show, man. It's just a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot, so I don't have time to like sit down, you know, and just like binge it. I almost feel like this should have gone before the other song, you know? I feel like this should have gone before Say Yes, but... Oh yeah, there you go. Jungyeon High Note? Dude. Great way to end. Great way to end. Okay. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. That is that is an ending track. That is definitely an ending track. But like I said, I think it should have gone before because I, I, I think I like Say Yes a little bit better. Because there, there are some like fast paced moments in Stuck. And I think if it was like before, I think it would have just like sequencing wise, I think it would have been a little bit better. But I mean, overall, man, those last two songs were fantastic. Um, I love, I love slow songs from Twice, man. Something about it, it's like their vocals fit really, really well. And it, it's, it's definitely something that you would like to put in the background and I would not mind putting this on a playlist and just like, you know, working on something while listening to it. So yeah, very, very nice. The beginning of the album was an absolute banger, absolute tens out of tens throughout with that high energy. It was really, really fun. Um, some interesting production to say the least, some interesting and creative ideas. Um, there were moments where it worked really well, but then you have Deja Vu, which uh, I'm gonna pretend like that song doesn't exist because uh, it's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. But pretty good album, guys. 